I am preparing my studio, my healing art studio, for a very special visit. Suzanne Sabatini from Suzanne Sabatini's Galleries is coming to visit my studio. I'm so excited because she is amazing. So I'm um, heading today to see Helen Kagan, an artist that I just recently uh, not even actually met. It's today that I'm meeting her, but we, uh, we've we connected on the phone. I saw her works and they are just, uh, they refuse to be ignored. Let's put it that way. They're just so magnificent. When she saw my art, she said, I have to do a show. I have to do a show for you. We've got three shows coming up. One will be in New York, Brooklyn, and one will be in Orlando, Florida. And the other, I'll be leaving on Wednesday for Rome. So we will be securing a space for a show in Rome for Helen. My healing art is all about experiencing the art. It's about experiencing fully with all your senses the beauty of the colors and how you respond to that. Helen is from Russia, though I tend to feel she's a New Yorker because She's lived there so long. I actually try to tie, you know, to, to make it nice and, 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 and tolerable, you know, my working space, because you know how artists are. Artists are always messy. I'm not that messy, but still, you know, I'm preparing my space, and so everything is nice and tidy, and I put a lot of different art. So we've arrived at Helen's home, and can't wait to get inside and see her studio and her works of art. Hey, puppy, we're expecting visitors, so you have to behave. You are the best puppy in the world. Oh my God, it must be Suzanne, it must be Suzanne, Suzanne! Hi, oh you? my God, oh my God. Oh my God, I'm finally here. You're finally here. Oh. Ciao, Bella. How Ciao, are Bella. You? How was the treat? How Pretty the good. Treat? Yeah, Pretty good. everything good? Say, yes. <laughs> look, 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 this is my kingdom of healing arts. Just, just feel it. Studio. Just feel it. That's my wow, studio. Wow, I'm feeling it. You're feeling it's it? It's already hitting okay. me, and I'm not even inside yet. Yeah, but you feel the vibe, right? I'm feeling feel the, vibe. the vibe. This is what's been going on. All these hundreds of pieces I'm, for I'm, you. I'm here, I'm ready look, to see it all. Look. We've got to make our selection. Absolutely, we're going to make a selection, everything. What you want to put in uh, three places? We've got three places. Three places, three yes, shows, yes, 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 yes. We've got three shows. Orlando. Orlando. Brooklyn. In Rome. You're kidding me. Rome? Rome? Yeah, no. <laughs> Helen, I'm just so enjoying the vibrancy of color that I see in That's each of the great. paintings. You know, I've enjoyed looking at them so much in the catalogs and your books and to experience them firsthand now in person Thank you. is quite enthralling. Didn't I, didn't I tell you that you have to meet them in person? And the one that you're approaching right now the big one, it's called Stairway to Heaven. And it's a, it's a spiritual piece, and I have a lot of spiritual pieces. Actually, all of my pieces are very spiritual. They are. Because, like they I said, are. I believe that we are spiritual being on a human journey. And this is how we connected, because I think you have the same belief. We did. I felt it when I saw the works. You can see by the color combinations, and I, I don't just throw colors, you know, they no, are no, like, very... like texture. We, we talked before mm -hmm. how I build up the texture, and it's very interesting and intricate process about the texture. But most importantly for me is that how I can communicate the message, the spiritual message that is embedded there. Is it just the way I'm viewing it? But I feel that there's a heart. In the, no, in the background, yeah, a very you. large heart. I love you for And that. I feel that an amalgamation of um, interplanetary, cosmic in a way, because I feel that I'm looking at possibly oh planets. God. Do you see the heart, the universal heart? Can you see the heart? And I see the two silhouettes. And the two silhouettes, and that's a couple going towards the light, as always in my paintings. As, as, as you noticed before, we, we had a little chat that there is always a proverbial light mm. at the end of the tunnel in my, in my art. And I think it's very, very important in this piece, in this piece, in that piece, actually. What I am saying here is that we do breach that past. We, we don't just throw it away. We want to create a new identity. We want to create something that those parts of you 
uh, organically existing in that new you that you're building. And look at this flow, right? You I know it is that, before, yes. that flow that, you know, washes all the, all the ashes. Uh, come, come, from this perspective, you can see it better. So it washes the dust of, everybody, uh, of everyday life. Each one of us have our individual journeys. And you relate to what you feel. This is why I say, you don't just see my art. You experience it. Yeah. Okay. I just love how you've just decorated your whole house with it's your not, collection. It's not decoration. It's my studio. It's like, it's a gallery, you know. It but is. But I want you to pay attention here. Be careful. It's one way. <laughs> Be careful. It's one way. One way. Can you see one are we, way? Are we in Orlando? Are we in Brooklyn? Where oh, are just, we with just this? Just look. Just look. Oh, just look it. where we are. What a piece. Oh, my God. Tell me about it. Where are we? You're a New Yorker. Can you see <laughs> so that? are you. Yeah, so can you see a Times Square? You know, that was the next one. I have this feeling that I'm, I'm in Times Square, which... It's totally, um, it's totally... Chaotic. It's totally Which I'm chaotic. liking. Um, I intentionally put the positive stuff there. The positive spiritual messages, the positive colors, the positive positivity, positive... So that's what I do with the intention. You know, Helen, as we round this corner, these three very prolific pieces. Oh yeah, I have I to love tell the you, word prolific. I do. I could really see these at the New York Gallery. Oh yeah, this is actually my masterpiece. As I, I know, no one can buy this one. Oh, <laughs> this nobody is not can for buy. sale. No, that's not for sale. The but we, are. We right. will do the Jiclays, like hand embellished Jiclays, which would be, you know, like really, really good. Stuff meaning that you know people wouldn't even recognize whether it's an original or clay. But this is my masterpiece or my my trademark piece, as I call it, because it covers every possible meaning of being on a journey, and it calls in search of meaning. Can you explain too how that some people are moving towards, some are coming away? Oh, you can see I that. I love that. Yes, I you mean, can it does see take that? definitely oh some. God some study, but um, that people seem that they're together, but yet there's solidarity. There's, there, there's a, they, I feel like they're also alone as well, or could be. Is that in there? Is that just something I'm interpreting? I think from the painting. What's that, very, what you're saying is so interesting because, because again, I sense the different that's directions what, that people are going and moving it towards. That's what you sense. You know, and to get to Edison Bridge. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Because people go towards that proverbial, you know, uh, light at the end of the tunnel, and some people already enlightened and that they're coming back. And uh, some people are enlightened and they're coming back to help others, to enlighten others. And some people just go there and just. Some people just don't go anywhere, and that's just a crowd. So, and that, as you can see, it's a continuum, it's a spectrum continuum, you know, going from red, orange, yellow, blue, etc. So again, we're talking about not just the colors, but the frequencies of colors, and what meaning you sensed is there mm. for you. And that's what I'm saying. For you, so each one it's, has its own personal it's what interpretation. You feel. And yeah. I, I've seen guys, big, strong guys, standing in front of this piece and crying because it touched something in their soul. Mm. It touched something so sacred. Piece. Yes, but this one, it has really very special meaning to me. I'm a Jew, and you know, being being a wandering Jew is my life. It's not just traveling from one city to another. It's more. Well, I am an immigrant, I'm a refugee, I'm a first generation refugee, you know. And oh, I see that we feel that in the works. And you are, yeah. like your family. I found out yes. later in life, yes. Exactly. So was... And it's, it's so important for, I would say, everybody. Because at one point or another, somebody... Came from somewhere else. Exactly. Yeah. Somebody moved somewhere and we are on that journey, journey towards light, journey towards your understanding of why we are here. And this is... Honestly, what I believe we are here for, to, to fulfill this journey, our journey, our quest, with understanding of, and you know, the enlightenment and, uh, you know, bringing it further. This one is a little bit so whimsical. going on a journey with whimsical, <laughs> But it's also with a journey. With sneakers? <laughs> they've sneakers. already looked like they've had their journey. Do you like it for Brooklyn? I, I think you like it for Brooklyn. I do like it for Brooklyn. But I love the whimsical quality of the sneakers, but I know you, Have so you know therefore it? it must be layered Some. with meeting, meaning. 
some it layers. It must be layered with a lot of meaning. Okay. And couple, couple layers, is, a couple, you... couple layers, couple layers of meaning. Can you see that they're different colors? I see the different colors. So what and do you think? So I'm, why? I'm kind of why, working why? towards, there's something about here that's going to be a message about diversity. Am I right? Bingo! <laughs> Bingo! Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Of course, it's a symbolic uh, mm. representation. Of course, there is a lot of symbolism. Of course, there is just a city, again, it's a universal city, and they are walking over the globe, and they are quite beat up. See, like, and I made it this way, so it's not that I just like... bought knickers and, you know, and then <laughs> I glue it here. No, they, no, they're really beat up from all the long journeys, and the title is... We can do it. We can do it. We can oh, do it. Yeah. We can do it. So it's my belief. The journey starts with one step. And again, I yes, really I love that. The journey. Here, what I truly yeah. appreciate is you. There's a, a use. No, for each of the viewers, you've got that familiar source of light coming in. The proverbial light at the, the end light of the and uh, like always the feeling light, that we're, we're moving light, towards that light. as people, maybe as a community. Humanity is Humanity, right. yes. Thank you for noticing that. I mean, here it's quite obvious, but in other pieces it might not be as obvious as it here, but it's always there in my art. The source of light, love, and joy. <laughs> joy of the colors, joy of every little tiny frequency of every color that brings you you know that it's what makes that... a Helen Kagan piece. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to, to, to say something very, you know, profound. Yeah, but maybe that's what makes my art that's, profound. Yeah, I think I'm really fortunate and I'm really honored that you want my art, my prolific art, as you said, in your galleries in Brooklyn, in Orlando and possibly in Rome. Yes, I, I saw it in the thrilled. books and I knew it had to be shared and we have to get this phenomena out there of the color mixed with the healing and what will take us beyond because there's so much in your collections and there are many, many collections within your collection. I believe there's what, five? Oh no, it's oh, about... What's the 5D? It's about 15. About 15, so... collections. So we, we certainly can put them around the world. Sorry, guys, I'm a little emotional because I'm really touched. I'm really touched. Thank you.